Hello everyone and welcome to another book review. And this week, it's going to be James Rollins' The Demon Crown, a Sigma Force novel. This book is 434 pages long. It was written on December 5th, 2017. At this point, it is only like two months old. Uh, not even, it's a month and a little bit old at this point. Um, and what is it? So Sigma Force, first of all, this is now, James Rollins is a, a, an author that I look out for his novels now because I read a few of his and I enjoy them. Anyway, so what is the Sigma Force? The Sigma Force is a government covert, like tactical organization that not only are these agents or operatives specialized in like combat and tactical skills and espionage, they also are... Um, trained or educated or whatever you want to say in whatever specific branch of science they specialize so they don't all have the same specializations one character is going to be specializing in one thing another character is going to be specializing in another thing because they respond to specific kind of threats ones of that nature that have to deal with like some are biological some are like physic like physics based and things like that so having that knowledge obviously with a threat that's impending is beneficial for a soldier to you know they have like a cross of knowledge anyway i guess the sigma part of it is like the sum of like everything it's like anyway uh <laughs> that was a tangent this is a series of novels uh the sigma force however uh you don't need to read them in any order to appreciate each novel on its own and anything relating to the characters and how they've developed from one novel to the other is explained within each novel. So if there's a relationship between a character, they'll explain. He'll explain to a certain extent without spoiling something from the previous books, but how this character came to be or whatever, right? So if you, if you feel like you're lost, you won't feel lost because the necessary information is still going to be in the book. This is the most recent one of this series. So the main thread in this book uh, centers around a prehistoric wasp that they've called the Orukuro after some Japanese demon. So I don't think these, these wasps specifically actually existed from my understanding, but the writer James Rollins took characteristics of different insect life and different species and kind of made this super wasp that was bio, not bioengineered, um, that was revived from like, you know, kind of like Jurassic Park and like, like the amber or whatever that was revived and, and sent as a biological, basically, th weapon. And it, it was first used in the book in Hawaii, where the main character happens to be. But it's not a coincidence because it was intentionally placed there because the main character was there. Anyway, I'm not going to spoil too much. So these wasps are very dangerous because they're like ma they're prehistoric, so they're massive. Like I think the average the soldier ones are three uh, three inches long or so. Like you know what I mean. And the way that the queen there's not one queen there's multiple queens. The way they reproduce is by injecting their larva or eggs or whatever into hosts living hosts uh for then those like parasitic larva then feed off the hosts until they're they grow and molt and hatch and then you know it's pretty disgusting right so it's almost like an epidemic but it's not a disease it's it's a living creature or a swarm of living creatures that's kind of taking over the island and like there's threats of this happening throughout the world. So it's up to the main characters to, you know, thwart the problem on Hawaii as well as uh, find a way to, I don't know what you want to say, cure per se, but eliminate the parasite, parasitic effect once, it's, once people have become parasitized. So the main, this, uh, James Rollins writes a lot like the same similar style to Dan Brown where it's not just one character's focus, he'll jump between different characters' perspectives. Uh, but the main two, I guess, or three, the main two are gonna be the group of characters that are on Hawaii, 
and there's a group of characters that uh, leave from the base in Washington and have to go to Europe to discover uh, where the cure might be based on um, the Smithson, Smithsonian uh, records because the... S <laughs> Sorry, I heard like wind howling. It just kind of tripped me out. Anyway, so there's a lot of... It's hard to explain. There's a lot of ties to history while he while he keeps a fictional story happening. That's why I really like these books. So there's a lot of fact, and then the fiction is kind of sprinkled into it to make a story out of it. And at the end of the book, after the story's done, he has to, he takes a few pages to separate fact from fiction and what's real in the book and what's not real and things like that. Um, the feel of this book, this one specifically. It's like pretty fast paced, like things happen f like rapid quick, like one second it's all calm in the beginning and then instantly we're talking about oh no, there's an explosion and then wasps are flying everywhere and taking over and then people are getting kidnapped and parasitized and we got to save this person. So like things are happening like and that moves the it moves the plot along. So it's very fast paced uh, and then the Europe parts kind of balance out that action with there's a little bit of action in the Europe sections, but they balance it out with more of like discovery and the suspense of what's like this, this, like we got to find this cure and what are the, like this, where are these clues leading us? So it, that's how it kind of balances out in that way. But what I found really intriguing in this book is every so many chapters is dedicated to a specific uh, variant of these wasps. So like, One's like the soldier wasp, one's the, the scout wasp, one is the, the, the harvester, the breeder, the, even the larva, etc. And, and like it's just, he writes it in the third person but from the perspective of, the third person perspective but describing what the, the wasp's like genetic genetics is forcing it to do or like why it's doing what it's doing and, and he, he makes it like like why they do what they do is like kind of like a voice in their head saying whatever whatever the genetic codes instructions are so i found that kind of interesting and yeah so i do recommend reading this book um the in terms of his books it's up there but it's not my top favorite um my favorite is probably the judas strain which i have somewhere or i lost it but i would like to get a hold of it again so i could review it and yeah, so that's The Demon Crown by James Rollin. All in all, fast-paced read, feels like an action movie. You learn a little bit about wasps and that the species of wasps, I guess, not like specifically one type of wasp and, and genetic codes and like biology. And you get some insight into salt mines in Europe and amber and things like that that I never thought of like amber. Like who thinks about amber, the the whatever it is, like sap or whatever stone it becomes. So you learn a little bit about that and I found that interesting to like sprinkle on top of this this fun, fast-paced story where things are on the line. Yeah, so that's all I have to say on that James Rollins Demon Crown. Please, if you like my channel, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. Um, if you like the video, please like. And I'm just going to keep reading books and reviewing them as I go. But that's all I have to say for now. Take care, everyone. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys next time.